naturally occurring seasonal flooding is critical for healthy rivers. Small regular floods flush excess nutrients out of rivers and deliver them to floodplains, where they nourish healthy habitats and fertile farmlands. These small events also replenish surface and groundwater storage for later use by nature and people. But as climate events become more severe and frequent, many areas across Kentucky are expected to see increased precipitation. This has the potential to turn natural seasonal flooding into dangerous rain events. But there are opportunities to strengthen and empower Kentucky's communities while addressing both water quality and quantity issues. In doing so, we can decrease dangerous flooding while promoting social, economic, and environmental well-being. Some of our partners are already combining water quality and quantity management practices in ways that are cost-effective and naturally resilient. So currently the site is approximately eight acres of native, native grasses, native prairie, um, a lot of habit, uh, wildlife habitat, uh, a lot of pollinator plants. Uh, prior to us getting in there and doing the work, it was just a hillside. So by adding the, the embankments, the terraces, the vegetation, we're, you know, we're slowing down that, that water. And the data that we've collected is proving that this site is working extremely well. Hi, my name is Erin Wagoner with Louisville MSD. I am here on the banks of Cedar Creek that drains into Floyd's Fork. And this is a riparian restoration site. There was a former home on this site. Um, MSD worked with Kentucky and federal emergency management agencies to remove the structure and restore this area to the floodplain. So that included planting over a hundred native trees and shrubs and native plants. Um, to allow stormwater to really flow down, filter through the soil, um, and improve the water quality in Cedar Creek. The Division of Water provides funding to projects that reduce runoff pollution. This includes watershed planning, education and outreach, and the implementation of best management practices. With resources, funding, and existing federal programs, the Division of Water and its partners can assist those interested in these types of projects. The way that I describe it is that we help build kind of like a connective tissue across the state. A lot of these issues with water don't follow a political boundary or a county line, and it does fall out of just a single program or a single agency's typical mission or capacity. It's our job to know what's happening on the ground so that we can connect you with the right people, so that we're using the limited resources and time and money that we have to have um, collective impact. We are here to collaborate. Together, we can more effectively reduce harmful flooding and stormwater pollution while harnessing the benefits we receive from natural flooding. Let's work together to make Kentucky more flood resilient for our future generations. <laughs>